Hi, welcome to Cooking from the Heart. We have a very special show today. We're filming this in March, which happens to be Colon Cancer Awareness Month, and the wonderful people at Centera Cancer Network have offered to help us shop for and prepare some delicious, healthy meals that will help you whether you're battling an illness or you just want to be your healthiest self. Let's go inside. Kick it. Nice to meet it you. It's such a pleasure to meet you too. I am so excited about what we're doing today. Um, so tell me, what is your involvement with Centera Cancer Network? I'm a clinical dietitian with the Centera Cancer Network. Okay, great. And what does that mean? What, what do you do specifically? I help patients um, make sure they're meeting their nutrition needs, not losing weight, maintaining weight. And I work with a multidisciplinary care team in the Centera Cancer Network. Well, I'm very excited to meet you today because on my show, we are really focusing on cooking healthy. It's, it's so important these days. And I thought, what's the best place to start from square one at the grocery store with an expert, even better. And so I wanted to ask you, what is the biggest misconception that you found that people have about eating healthy and, and grocery shopping? Probably um, people's misconception is they can't buy healthy food at a regular grocery store, um, but they can. We're in Kroger in the Western Tidewater area right now. Um, and so I'm going to show you that you can buy healthy at just a normal grocery store. It's accessible to everyone. Yep. Great. Let's go. All right. Now, I know I'm busy a lot, so I can't go to the grocery store every other day. Can I use frozen or canned vegetables? Are they just as good? Yes. People think you can't eat frozen or cans, but you're still getting the nutrition benefit from that. So absolutely, you should try frozen and canned, and they also last longer. I have a stockpile at home, yep. so gl I'm glad the expert so, has now told me this is a good go, way to go. Let's go to the frozen section and I'll show you. Perfect. Okay. That's a great choice. Frozen blueberries. And they're organic, but... Oh, I didn't even notice that. Bonus. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't have to be um, if you... If it's a better option to get the non-organic frozen, at least you're getting in your fruit and vegetables. So we're in the canned aisle, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to show you some good selections of canned fruits and vegetables and beans. So when you're trying to pick out canned fruits, I would avoid the canned fruits and the heavy syrup. Okay. Either do it in the, choose the cans in the fruit juice or the light syrup. And then what about beans? Beans, are any that are better? beans, beans, beans. So <laughs> healthy musical. for GI health and for heart health. Um, and they're inexpensive, they're convenient. My big question to you is to meat or not to meat? I would definitely say eat your meat, but as long as it's a healthier meat, which would be your white meats. Chicken? Uh huh. Doesn't mean you can't have the dark meats, it just means they're higher in fat and saturated fat. Okay. So I would trim the fat off. Sure. Um, if you're going to do beef, I would limit it to you know one or two times per week. Now, what about ham and you know bologna and those processed meats like lunch meats and stuff? Yeah, I would really limit or avoid processed meats as much as possible. But you don't have to get rid of meat, so we can eat meat. Yay! Yes, lean meat. So, a big question that I have is about milk. A lot of people are having milk issues and they can't drink milk. What do you do in that situation? So if you can drink milk, you would need to do low fat milk, which is 1% or 0%. Okay. If you're lactose intolerant, you just need to find a lactose free milk. Um, so it's ready available. Oh, so yeah. you can drink milk, it's just... Like it's just, it's, it's broken down modified. for you. Okay, yep. great. So you just, if you're lactose intolerant, you would buy lactose free milk. It's just easier digested, already broken down for you. And I'm assuming they have lactose free ice cream and, yep, everything. Okay, and cheese mm -hmm. and all of that. The only thing that doesn't need to be lactose free if you're lactose intolerant is yogurt. It's naturally oh, lactose free. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. That's really mm -hmm. good to know. Great. Um, as well as cheeses, cheeses should be low fat. 
Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Always that's choose. A, so my downfall. The key rule is buy low fat dairy, low fat cheeses, low fat ice cream. And it'll just be right there on the label. Yes. Right? So you uh -huh. really it's just make sure you're looking at those labels. Yep. Huge. Really it's huge. just decreasing the milk fat. Okay. So. Okay. Now, what about um, like almond milk and cashew milk? Are those as good as milk? A lot of people replace mm -hmm. them. Is that yep. a viable option or not so I, much? I get asked this a lot. So the only time I would say you can't drink milk is if you have a true milk allergy. Therefore, then you would need to take a calcium supplement. The cashew, the almond, all the other peanut, other milks, I would not replace with my milk. I would just add them to my diet. The only one that is really a good source of protein is your soy milk. The almond milk and all the other ones aren't a good source of protein. So another healthy uh, dairy product would be yogurt. Oh, okay. There's a large selection of different kinds of yogurt. Yogurt is so healthy, so healthy for GI health because of the cultures it contain. It replaces the good flora um, in and, your intestine. And it's good if you're taking antibiotics or something to, oh, to yeah, use that, right? Oh yeah, because sometimes antibiotics can, um, you know, maybe <laughs> make you go more, more often. Um, so like again, it, it reestablishes re the normal flora in your GI tract. As a mom, one thing that I love now is that they're really starting to market yogurt to kids. Um, you have like the cool little tubes or the little cups with their favorite cartoon character on. When I was growing up, it was just like an adult thing that my mother ate, but now everybody eats yogurt. Like all my daughter's friends eat yogurt and it's just, it's great. I think incorporating yogurt into kids' diet is important. It's so healthy. It's given them a taste for how yogurt tastes so they will eat it in their adulthood, just a part of their normal healthy diet. So Nicole, this is what you do then for Centera Cancer Network, right? Yes, Centera Cancer Network provides excellent individualized patient care, um, like the Centera Bell Harbor down the road, or any Centera for that matter. Well, great, well thank you so much. You have given me so much information, and I can't wait to take all of this knowledge and, and make some really healthy, delicious foods. Thank you again so much. You're welcome. Wow, I learned so much today. Now don't forget, when you're grocery shopping, shop the perimeter. Make a list and stick to it, and don't go grocery shopping when you're hungry. Don't forget you can use frozen fruits and vegetables, and when you're looking at meat and dairy, make sure to buy low fat. And very important, read your labels. You're gonna get so much information on those. Now, after the break, I have a very special guest who's gonna help me prepare some delicious, healthy meals that you're gonna love. Centera Cancer Network. I put off my colonoscopy thinking I'd never get colon cancer. When I heard the diagnosis, I knew I needed the nationally accredited Centera Cancer Network. Because when it comes to treating colon cancer, it takes a network of trusted physicians with a proven track record and advanced technology and treatment, like minimally invasive surgery and clinical trials. Skill, experience, technology. The three words to remember for one you never want to hear. To learn more, call 